Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on calculations involving days and weeks. So we start with converting weeks to days. Problem one, how many days are there all together in A, three weeks, B, seven weeks, five days, C, 10 weeks, three days. So we start the solution from A. There are seven days in a week. So since we have three weeks now, in order to convert it to days, we multiply three by seven days. And three times seven gives 21 days. So in three weeks, we have 21 days. Then for B, seven weeks, five days, we convert these seven weeks to days by also multiplying by seven since there are seven days in a week so seven weeks will be seven times seven days then we add the five days to seven times seven days so seven times seven is 49 plus five days 49 plus 5 days gives 54 days. Therefore, 7 weeks 5 days is 54 days. We then go to C. For C, we have 10 weeks 3 days. So the 10 weeks also will be multiplied by 7 to convert it to days. We then add the 3 days. So we have 10 times 7 days plus three days 10 times 7 is 70 plus three days 70 days plus three days we give us 73 days and that's all for the solution of problem one we go to problem two for problem two a man spent five weeks six days in the village how many days did he spend in the village? So to do that again, we look at the duration in the village. So he spent five weeks, six days. Again, we convert the five weeks to days and add six days. So that's giving us five times seven days plus six days. Five times seven is 35 plus six days will give us 41 days. So the man spent 41 days in the village. And that's all for problem two under converting weeks to days. Now we look at converting days to weeks and days. So starting also from problem one, how many weeks and days are there in a, 28 days, B, 87 days, and C, 181 days. So starting from A, since there are seven days in a week, we now look at how many seven days can we get from 28 days. Remember, 28 is four times seven days. We have four weeks in 28 days. We can as well also say, 28 divided by 7. 28 divided by 7 is 4. So which still gives 4 weeks that we have in 28 days. So for B, we have 87 days. And also, we can look at what multiple of 7 can we get from 87? That is 84. Then we now add 3 to make it 87. So we have 84 plus 3 days. Then this 84 is 12 times 7. So we have 12 times 7 then plus 3 days. So which means we are going to have 12 weeks and 3 days in 80. Seven days. So we have 12 weeks, three days. Since 
12 times 7 gives 84 plus 3 giving the 87 days. So that's all for B. We then go for C. And we can also go by long division. We can also go by long division. So going by long division, we divide 181 by 7. So to divide 181 by 7, by long division, we pick the first two digits, which is uh, 18. And how many 7s can we get from 18? We have 2. 2 times 7 gives 14. We then subtract. 18 minus 14 gives 4. We then bring down this 1. Then we now divide 41 by 7. Dividing 41 by 7, it goes 5 times. So 5 times 7 gives 35. We subtract again to get the remainder. So 41 minus 35 gives 6. So we have 25 sevens and 6 days in 181 days, giving us 25 weeks six days so there are 25 weeks six days in 181 days so that's all for problem one under converting days to weeks and days we then go to problem two in a term a school opened for 115 days how many weeks and days is this so to do that Again, we are going to convert 115 days to weeks and days. So going by long division again, we have 115 divided by 7. To divide 115 by 7 by long division, we pick the first two digits, which is 11. 11 divided by 7 gives 1. So to get the remainder, we say 1 times 7 gives 7. We then subtract. 11 minus 7 gives 4. We then bring down the 5. We then divide this 45 by 7. Um, we can get 6 sevens from 45 since 6 times 7 gives 42. Subtracting 42 from 45. We have the remainder as 3. Therefore, 115 days is 16 weeks, 3 days. So the school opened for 16 weeks, 3 days in the term. So that's all for problem 2. Under converting days to weeks and days, we then go to Addition and subtraction of days and weeks. Starting from our first problem, carry out the following addition. A. We have weeks, days, with three weeks, one day to be added to two weeks, two days. And for B, two weeks, five days to be added to one week, four days. So we are going to start the addition from days down to week. So 1 plus 2 gives 3 days. And 3 weeks plus 2 weeks gives 5 weeks. Therefore, 3 weeks 1 day plus 2 weeks 2 days gives 5 weeks 3 days. So we go to B. For B, we have 2 weeks 5 days to be added to 1 week 4 days. So we start the addition from days. 5 days plus 4 days gives 9 days. And in 9 days, we have 1 week, 2 days. We write down the 2 days and carry the 1 week to the week column. So adding 2 plus 1, 3 plus 1 gives. So we have 4 under week. So that's. 2 weeks 5 days plus 1 week 4 days gives 4 weeks 2 days. And that's all for problem 1. We then go to problem 2. For problem 2,
carry out the following subtraction. We have uh, questions 2a and b. Starting from a, um, we start with the day column. 5 days minus 3 days gives 2 days. 7 weeks minus 4 weeks gives 3 weeks. So that 7 weeks 5 days minus 4 weeks 3 days gives 3 weeks 2 days. And that's all for A. We go for B. Um, for B, we have 9 weeks 3 days minus 2 weeks 6 days. Starting from the day column, and we cannot say 3 minus 6 days. We have to borrow 1 from 9. So we borrow 1 from 9, we'll be left with 8 there. And the 1 we borrow, that is 1 week, is 7 days to be added to this 3. So that 7 plus 3 gives 10. Meaning 7 days plus 3 days gives 10 days. 10 days minus 6 days gives 4 days. Since we are left with 8 weeks, 8 weeks minus 2 days gives 6 days. So that 9 weeks 3 days minus 2 weeks 6 days gives 6 weeks 4 days. And that's all for problem 2. We then go to miscellaneous problems. For miscellaneous problems, we start with problem 1. Assuming today is Monday, what day of the week will it be after A, 22 days, B, 77 days, C, 93 days, and D, 179 days? So we start with A, 22 days. Um, if we divide 22 by 7, we are going to have 3 remainder 1. 22 divided by 7 gives 3 remainder 1. We have 3 weeks and 1 day. Which means we are going to start counting a day after Monday. And the day after Monday is Tuesday. Therefore, the day will be Tuesday. That is to say, assuming today is Monday, after 22 days, the day will be Tuesday. And that's all for A. We go for B, 77 days. Again, we divide 77 by 7. That is giving us 11 remainder 0. Since there is no remainder, or the remainder is 0, Meaning after 77 days, if today is Monday, we are still going to have the day to be Monday. So the day will be Monday. So that's all for A and B. We go for C. 93 days. Again, we say 93 divided by 7. 93 divided by 7. Going by long division, we have 93 and 7. Um, we start with 9. So 9 divided by 7 goes 1 time. To get the remainder, we say 1 times 7 gives 7. We subtract. 9 minus 7 gives 2. We bring down the 3. So we divide 23 by 7. We can only have three sevens from 23. So that 3 times 7 gives 21. Subtracting, we have 23 minus 21 to be 2. That's to say 93 divided by 7 gives 13 remainder 2. Since we have 2 as a remainder, meaning after Monday, we are counting 2 days. That's going to give us... Wednesday, so that after 93 days, the day will be Wednesday, that is after Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that's after two days. So that's all for C, we go for D. 
I have 179 days. Again, we divide 179 by 7 and get the remainder. So to do that, we do long division. 179 divided by 7. I pick the first two digits, that's 17. Uh, I can get two sevens from 17. So 2 times 7 gives 14. 17 minus 14 gives 3. We then bring down the 9. 39 divided by 7 gives 5. So 5 times 7 gives 35. I carry out the subtraction. 39 minus 35 gives 4, meaning 25 remainder 4 if we divide 179 by 7. So we are counting 4 days after Monday. So that's going to give us Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So the day will be Friday after 179 days, assuming today is Monday. So that's all for problem one under miscellaneous problems. We then go to problem two. A man arrived London from Abuja on Saturday. What day will he return to Abuja after spending 216 days? Again, we are going to divide 216 days by 7 and take the remainder. This is very clear. 210, we can get 30 sevens from 210. Then we will now be left with 6, which means 216 is going to be 30 weeks, 6 days. 30 weeks, 6 days. So we are going to count 6 days from Saturday. So from Saturday, we now have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Which means he will return to Abuja on Friday after spending 216 days in London. That's the end of solution to problem two of the miscellaneous problem. And this is the highest we can take in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share this video. Also remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until we come your way again, goodbye.